okay. If you watch the high school hockey tournament, you probably notice the logos on the ice. That's fine. Listen, Comes from I, a place of I love. I don't have feelings. Uh, the logos on the ice were different from what you saw during the wild game the night before the tourney started. Crews worked overnight, so the ice was ready for the high school puck drop. So Heather answered this good question. How does the X change over the ice? Start with that, what we were just yeah. seeing. It okay. looked like they were erasing it. Yeah, they were. They are essentially, what happens is the center ice logo for the wild, all the wild logos, so that Excel energy that you saw, yep. and all the lines are permanently painted into the ice. So how does that work? So what they'll do is the ice is about a quarter an inch and a quarter thick. So like so, a small high heel thick. A small high heel, <laughs> you got it. And so what they'll do is they'll put an eighth of an inch of water down, freeze that, and then they'll paint permanent ice, permanent paint uh, into that over that eighth of an inch. Then, and then um, they finish yeah, like an inch of ice on top of that. Because they don't ever want to zamboni off off that permanent Not, no, stuff. No, there's a couple but, of bucks at play there. Yeah, right? Exactly. So then what they'll do is when they are changing over the ice, they want to put the new sponsor logos mm -hmm. over the old sponsor logos, but they have to cover up the old sponsor logos. So they go in, they cut in there, and they white paint, they essentially white out <laughs> the Funny. old Just temporary. sponsor sure. logos. Yeah. So that's on one of the layers of ice above it. Exactly. So they're whiting so it's about it out. Five eighths of an inch. Huh. It's about an inch and a, it's about a half an inch above where the paint is. They'll wow. white it out. And then the temporary sponsor logos are fabric that have the decals on them, they'll put them in there and then they'll freeze the Just water into that. Freeze over it. Freeze huh. over it and then they'll flood on top of that. This it, sounds It's really cool. difficult. How long is this taking yeah. to turn this around? So the difficult, it's not the amount of time it takes, it's just when they have to do it. So okay. if you look at, so it takes probably about three hours and then they have to flood overnight. But mm. if you look at the schedule from this past week, the wild Super finished busy. at, you know, 9.30 yeah. on Tuesday. So these crews, there's eight people, they started at 10, you know, worked till about 2 in the morning. Oh, wow. And because the puck drop for the boys hockey was 11 a.m. Yeah. Yeah. But cool. it's really, I just, I, I had no idea. We've seen them do the full right. changeover where they like take out the ice and put yeah. in the basketball court or whatever. Right. But doing just taking out the sponsors, you see this sometimes for football, right? Yes. Where, where a, a pro stadium, a college stadium, and TCF a pro TCF Bank. Exactly. Right. And so people ask people ask this question all the time. They also asked, how did they change over from the U of M to the Vikings? And I thought those were all really cool questions because cool. these are things we see all the time and yeah. we just don't even know how. Very cool. Very cool. Very cool.